Okay, so we're asked to simplify this algebraic fraction, and the thing to notice at the top we've just got a nice simple expression. I always put brackets around simple expressions or linear expressions. The one at the bottom though is quadratic, so what you do with uh, simplifying algebraic fractions is factorize any quadratic you have. Um, so we're going to factorize that one at the bottom. So um, with factorizing the quadratics, we've got to find two numbers at times together to make 72 and add together to make 17. Uh, now you can do factor pairs of 72, so 1 and 72 and 2 and 36, etc. Um, but looking at the fact they add together to make 17, uh, the numbers are going to be quite small, so I'm thinking that it's going to be hmm, so it's going to be x and x, and I know that nine times eight is seventy-two. Let's try that. So nine and eight add together to make seventeen, so that works. Okay, so I rewrite the algebraic fraction, but this time with the factorized quadratic at the bottom. And if you don't know how to factorize quadratics, we do have videos that go through it a lot slower. If you just type in on maths um, quad uh, factorizing quadratic equations onto YouTube, they'll show up. Now, the beauty of algebraic fractions is we can actually simplify it here. What we're going to do is we're going to divide top and bottom by x plus 8. So when I do that from the bottom, that just leaves x plus 9. But when I do it to the top, whenever you divide a number by itself, you're always left with 1. So my answer is 1 over x plus 9, and I don't need the bracket around the x plus 9 anymore.